All right, in this video, we're going to look at the boundary box, using the boundary box to keep your images on the canvas so they don't just go off into space. So I've got my, my key presses that will move my alien and my ship. So the alien moves with the arrows, the ship moves with WASD. Here are the functions that make that happen. So if I run this though, Here's my issue. If I click here and I move, let's just say the alien off the screen, if I just move him up, once he hits the end of the screen, he just keeps on going. And that's not how I want my game to work. I wanna keep this guy on the screen at all times. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna use the information from the last video, getting the boundary box of these things so we can figure out how to keep them on. All right, so I'm gonna create a function. I'm gonna do the ship and I'm gonna let you do the alien. So this is getting the ships B box and keeping it on the canvas. So I'm gonna call this function ship edge reached. I'm just, this is what I'm going to use to determine if the ship has reached the edge, I'm going to bounce him back so he doesn't leave. All right, the first thing I need to do then is get the boundary box for the ship. So I'm going to call the ship boundary. Is the playground dot B box for the ship. So that's the boundary box. Now remember, the boundary box is giving you an, a list a list with four elements in it. So what I'm going to do is set up a variable for each part of the ship. So my ship left side of my ship and the ship boundary. Remember the left side is the first element in the list. So that's index zero, ship right. Ship right is the third element in the list. So that's index two. Ship top is the second element in the list. So that is index one. And then finally, ship bottom is the fourth element in the list. So that is index three. All right, so this is my ship's left side, right side, top and bottom. I'm going to start with just one side. I'm going to start with the left hand side. And I'm going to say if my left hand side has gone off the canvas. So the left hand side is telling me what is the location of the left side of my ship. So I'm going to do an if statement. I'm going to say if my ship left is less than zero, because zero is the left edge of my screen. So if that the left side of my ship is less than zero, so if it's off the screen, I'm just going to bounce him back. Playground dot move. I'm going to move the ship ten units back. So that's going to make a bouncing effect. Remember, when we move to the left, moving left, it's going negative ten. So when it hits the edge, I'm going to move it positive ten. So it's just going to keep bouncing off the edge. Let's try it with the ship. Oh, I can't do that yet because I've created this function, but I haven't called the function yet. This gets slows things down just a little bit, but what I'm going to do is call this function every single time the ship moves. Whether I'm moving up, down, left, or right, when the ship moves, I'm going to move it 10 units, and then I'm going to call the ship edge reached function. So it moves, I go check. It moves, I go check. It moves, I go check every time. Have I reached the edge? Have I reached the edge? So it slows things down just a little bit, but it keeps your, your stuff on the screen. Okay, so every time the ship moves, I'm going to call the edge reached and it's going to check. Have we hit the left side yet? And I'll add more to this. We'll get the, the top and the right and the left and all that. So I'm going to run this first and show you what it looks like. So if I enlarge this a little bit, click here, I'm going to move the ship to the left hand side. So I'm moving him to the edge of the 
canvas, that's the only thing we're checking right now. And when I reach the edge of the canvas on this left hand side, nothing's happening. So maybe zero was not big enough, depending upon how big your screen is. Zero is not big enough because I can see that it looks like it's hitting the edge and I'm hitting the A button trying to make it go left and it's not happening. So it didn't quite reach the edge, maybe like less than negative 10, but you get the idea. You can play around with those numbers later. And they'll just keep going with this. So now we'll just say, all right, let's check the top side. Else if the ship top it was less than zero. Playground dot move. I'm going to move the ship and I mean, need to move. So when I hit the top, that means the ship is moving up at this moment. So if we look down here, if we look down here, when the ship was moving up, the Y value is negative. So when we reach the top, we want to move it 10 in the down position. So I'm going to say I'm going to move the ship, not left or right, but 10 in the downward position. So now when I hit the top, the same thing should happen, it should bounce off. Okay, going to the top. And I've hit the top. I'm hitting the W key. I'm hit, I've hit the top. I won't go any further. It's bouncing me back. All right. So your goal then is to keep both of your images on the screen. Not only the, the ship or whatever, but my, in my case, I would also do the aliens. So I would need another function for the aliens B box and keeping the alien on the screen. So that's your goal. That's going to be this assignment is to keep both of your images from leaving either the left, right or top and bottom boundary. Okay, go.